Hi, David. Hi there. Thanks for having us here. We had the chance to drive to Solterra and Uncharted today. Two special cars for you, especially with the uh, year 2026 coming up. You plan to uh, bring three new EVs in the market in Europe. Which role does this car play for you for Subaru? Which role, sorry? Which role do they play for Subaru? Well, well, that's a great question. They do an immensely, hugely important role. Yeah. Uh, and each of them do their own, if you like. So, many of our customers are now starting to migrate from petrol-based cars, they've, they've driven for many years, yeah. to an alternative. So, we're not replacing them, we're offering a new option, okay. right? So. If you had to position them very simply, you've got your Forester and your Solterra. Yeah. You've got your Crosstrek and your Enchanted. Okay. And then you've got your Outback and your E-Outback. Slightly different customers, but they all want to do the same thing, which is basically use them for three simple reasons. They want something that feels safe, okay. that is reliable and tough, yeah. because they love to do occasional off-road. And, you know, we're selling loads of our cars in the northern regions where the weather is really harsh. Yeah. Snow condition, icy condition, mountain roads. And they want basically to find the same value. So why is it important? Well, if you're starting into the EV world, you yeah. want to offer cars that offer basically the same drive with a different powertrain. Yeah, But the same behavior. So, yeah, hugely important. And same behavior, said. we had a chance to drive the Uncharted here off-road. It was a very special feeling for me. Do you think the normal off-road driver feels the difference of the car? Or are we even on the better side with the BEV variant? Do you know, not everyone is an expert off-road driver. Yeah. And not everyone has to drive everyday off-road. Yeah. But what we're trying to do with the exercise we gave you is we show you the limit, right? Yeah. And you, we show you, well, you could go up to there. We know you're going to be up to here, but you have that confidence reserve okay. that allows you just in case things go wrong. Okay, we also had the chance to drive to Solterra, the first generation and the second generation. What did you learn from the first generation which you transferred into the second generation of the car? That's a good one, but I have so many things to say about that okay. one in Times keep Limited. It short, I'm really. going to keep it short. The, the first one was our first step into the EV world, right? Okay, yeah. So we tuned it like your fuel tank would be, with a big reserve. Yeah. Customers said, no, we want more driving range. We tweaked it. Okay. Charge time, they said, hey, we haven't got all day. Make it shorter, 28 minutes now. Yeah. And even on a wall charger, it used to be over seven hours. It's now under four hours. So we made it easier for people to get used to it, okay. right? Number one. Yeah. Then we added more off-road features. Yeah. We've improved the all-wheel drive. You heard about the grid control system. Yeah. We've, we, we're coming up with, with a system that is a kind of off-road cruise control. Yeah. And again, you don't need to be an off-road expert to navigate the car now. It's, it's, it, yeah. it's becoming easier for everyone okay. to navigate through, not just off-road, but snow, ice, difficult conditions. So these are some of the upgrades we made. And then there's the exterior styling, yeah. right? We made it more urban looking and tweaked the car in different places. We made it more quiet inside yeah. also, because we realized hmm, people expect more and more quietness for EVs. So it's really more quiet than the previous. So more comfort on the inside and also. Yeah. yeah. And if we are thinking about the Uncharted, we have an ABD version of it and the front wheel drive version of it. Correct. Why did you choose both of these uh, drive, more, drive options then? Well, for one simple reason, with boxer-powered cars, it was very difficult to replicate the capability on a two-wheel drive. Yeah. It was very difficult. We have two-wheel drive models in Japan, so we know, we've tested. Yeah. But we realized that with electrification you can do that. So what we've done is create a front-wheel drive platform yeah. based on the all-wheel drive one to replicate as much as the benefits, okay. right? And this is why we want you guys to try the car on snow and ice, which is very difficult to do in it's Jerez. Made, it's yeah. <laughs> but but it, it's working, you know? And there's a demand for this. Okay. You know, some of our customers say, hey, 500 kilometers is okay, but can you stretch it a little bit? Okay. 
we go to 600 with a front wheel drive. For some people, it's it's more important. Yeah, okay. yeah, For so. the safety reason, then there. Yeah. yeah, some of them. Yeah. And what we also learned in the PR conference, which you told us against the end, Subaru need to restart and need a reboost in Europe. What is that? Could you tell us a little bit about where you want to head it with Subaru? What's your direction you want to go with the brand? Yeah. Probably electrification is the, be the best news we've had in a long time for one simple reason. CO2 regulations in Europe has forced us to contain the power to make it acceptable for you to buy one. Yeah. If you go too high, you go, oh, nice car, but I can't afford it yeah. because tax, road tax and all that, especially in some countries. And Germany is one of them. Now, with electrification, no limit, yeah. right? So this combined with a safe, fun, soft power that we've had for many years, we could add a fourth pillar, which is power. Performance is back. Okay. And performance being back helps us bring back the good old days of Subaru appealing to two groups. 80% of the people are like you and I. Yeah. They need a car for every day. You know, they bring the kids to school and they, they want something safe, fun and tough. Yeah. But you know, there's 10 to 15% of that crowd do want something really powerful. Yeah, yeah the Uncharted, I mean, does one to 60 in 4.5 seconds. This is faster than the fastest car we've ever had. Yeah. And that's amazing news. So that's the direction. You keep your Subarus convenient, you know, for everyday use. Yeah, for normal people, you know, niche people who want um, boxer powered, like low center of gravity, all wheel drive capable car. Most of them will keep that with an EV, but then we can offer it too to w the WRX STI lovers or Forester 2.5 XT, yeah. the type of models we used to have, but we don't have anymore. So, from the three pillars, safe, fun, tough, we add power. That is great news. Oh, check, check, check. Check, check, check. That's perfect then. Thank you for your time. Thank you for the influence. Thank you. Thank you. Nice talking to you. Yeah, Cheers. Awesome.